Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Mazinam Nikano, who is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, has finally sent a strong warning to the military and also to the police in respect to the fight against IPOB and also ESN. Fairly recently, we have heard about uh, what the plan had been for, on the part of the military in a low local government area of um, Imo State, the resident keep complaining that they have been gunfire almost on a daily basis. That most of the residents do not even go out to do anything. Some of them say, like being Sunday, most of them have not even gone out because of fear of possible gun exchange and all of that. And the military has been going around trying to see how they can pick up a member and ESN who have been involved in one act of destruction, especially against um, police formation. But right now, Mazinam Dikano has sent a message to them, which uh, we want to look at right away. But before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, let's look at the news in detail. According to the news, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aipo Mazinam Dikano, has warned that any commanding officer of the Nigerian security agencies that killed a member of his group will not go scot-free. The Aipo leader stated that the uniform or rank of such a soldier or policeman will not shield him from the punishment, adding the group keep records and take time to act. Kanu said this in a statement sent by its media and publicity secretary, Mark Powerful, on Sunday. It has earlier been published that a yet to be identified Nigerian soldier has warned residents of Olu town in Imo state to either relocate or be vigilant as some personnel had allegedly been given a shoot on site order in the ongoing battle with the Eastern Security Network operative. The soldier who spoke pidgin English in an audio obtained by Sarah Reporter he added that he, he would not carry out the plan and therefore he had been allegedly marked by the army commander to be arrested and possibly killed. The soldier who is attached to the 302 artillery regiment on each Anambra state alerted resident of the town to relocate based on their commander's alleged order. In the audio of 10, the soldier said, The first carried us that deployed us to Medugri, pronounced it. Then 25 of us came back, hoping that the matter was ended. Then they carried us to 302 artillery on each other. All of us were inside the barracks in Enugu till 12 p.m. afternoon. When the fight ended in Olu, the commander now said, Anybody we see, we should fire them. I beg you because of God, if your person is in Olu from now till Monday, try to inform them, tell them to change the location for now. Immediately I left the barrel. The commander said I was going out to expose them and make sure they get me killed. See the clothes that I am putting on. I didn't buy these clothes with my money. If you follow this line, I was given this cloth and I have kept my uniform. Reacting, the Biafran's uh, IPOP leader said, if you are a commander of troop in the Nigerian army or police, hear this, that you are wearing a uniform and are done in a rank does not make you invincible. If any Biafran is killed on your order, you will, hunt, we will, you will be hunted and punished sooner than later. We are taking stock and by buying time that was what he had to say and uh, there have been a lot of reaction on the social media in respect to this trade issue out by ipop um, leader and the first person here says this man needs to be in the country if he is truly fighting for freedom of ipop the use that are tolerating his ideology is in loss Honestly, I see nothing in this posture, and rather than selfish, I can allow anyone. I can't allow anyone to ruin my life. Another person here say, from the safety and comfort of his air-conditioned London home. Mm. 
So another person here say he ordered the release of kidnapped students with 24 hours they were released. Your governors on ground cannot do it. He is doing more while on exile and we appreciate it, bro. Another person here says, I don't want to believe that the IPOP are responsible for the massive police attack in this nation. Please, this is not the right way to tackle hatred. Mazinam Dikanu. Another person here says, I don't think Mazinam Dikanu is doing anything is doing any of the evil youth good in his statement. He wants people to think that police, to think that policemen that are being killed in Southeast are evil youths or IPOP is wrong. We need to choose, he needs to choose his words before he alters it. And I want to hear say, I, you can't continue to kill us. Go to our bushes and forests. Dead bodies of young men and women been done for how long? Hmm. Another person here says, Ask yourself one question. If you think Nigerian government has any real power over Namdikano, why they can't go to get him? Why Nigerian governors has not been able to close Radio Biafra registered in London? Most of you Northerners, especially, are too daft to understand what is going on. Another person here say, come to Nigeria and give this order. Kanu should know that despite hiding abroad, he is not safe over there and our police can work with Interpol for his arrest and deportation to continue his trial, which is a treasonable felony. Hmm. This one says, first of all, MNK is not a criminal. He is walking freely wherever he is, so your police can't touch him because he is in a civilized place, a place where people reason fine and live by the rule of law. Secondly, this is a serious talk. You people must take it very seriously. A lot of responses are coming in, but it's really a serious issue. For me, I am still praying for peace to return back to the southeast and for the government to sit on a round table. This issue of the both parties being in disagreement will not help matters. Some of the young people that we are losing today, they would have been very instrumental in the future. For me, I believe that at this point, the two parties should cease fire. Nigerian government should call these boys, call these guys to a round table. Let us talk and sort out this issue once and for all. It, it's been pending for too long and it, it's quite unacceptable, you know. And whatever thing we are doing, trying to burn down police station and trying to do all of that so that peace may return back to the southeast, let's see how we can call it off. You know, if it's a case of Fulani head has not been allowed to go to the southeast, let it be fully table before the federal government and give them reasons why uh, they shouldn't continue that way. And hey, this whole thing will, they will, they will, they will, will surely bring a serious calm back. Nigerians are tired with what is going on. However, I like to leave it there. Based on what Namdi Kano has said, the responses of people, what do you have to say? Please, no insulting words.